we don't cure spasmodic dysphonia, we treat symptoms only. Uh, cure will perhaps uh, be available when we can somehow uh, unequivocally figure out the site uh, of the brainstem that is responsible for uh, generating these abnormal uh, sensory motor responses. The disorder is thought to be a combination of abnormal sensory feedback or abnormal interpretation of the sensations coming from the larynx to the brain and abnormal motor control of the laryngeal movements. So there's some complex circuitry that originates or uh, ultimately rests in the brain and uh, uh, the most active research at this point in time is looking at um, how to recognize and then modify those nerve pathways. So we need to understand which parts of the network in the brain are involved in producing those symptoms and how we can change that network. Because how we can change that network will lead to the recovery from spasmodic dysphonia, uh, lead to a natural recovery process rather than altering the larynx, which is really the end point uh, of where the symptoms occur. We really want to address where the cause or the root of the symptoms are. The genetics of dystonia is also becoming better understood. Several genes have been identified that are related to more widespread or more generalized types of dystonia and those same types of genes or those same genes that are mutated may have a role in the isolated form of dystonia known as laryngeal dystonia or spasmodic dysphonia. So once the genes are recognized, then the next step is to uh, better study and understand what those genes do. And typically genes create proteins that could potentially be manipulated to reverse the, uh, the effects of the genetic mutation. And so we need to develop collaborative teams of neuroscientists and people who know spasmodic dysphonia, such as clinicians. And by having those teams work together, they can focus in on the brain mechanisms that are producing spasmodic dysphonia and also on new treatments. So I think that the National Spasmodic Dysphonia Association could help in and developing those teams and develop a national consortium for having those teams uh, discuss research findings and to promote the research in this area uh, by sharing their research findings and targeting in on the necessary treatments that are needed.